Greetings questers. So here we're going to do tutorial number three, which is all about getting yourself started in a brand new game. So you've just created your game and you're going to want to be able to set up a couple of things to make your world as a game master a lot easier. You'll notice that as a game master, you'll have a lot more menu options than your players will have. Typically your players will only have things like the tool, uh, the tools icon. Uh, they will have a, a characters icon. They will have the journal icon and the items icon. Everything else is for GMs only. The other thing that you'll notice is things down on the bottom, such as this space here is for your players. So however many players you have, you'll see a list of them here with their little icons and their portraits in here. You can also double click on any one of these icons at any time to create a private chat with a player. Next underneath is you have a roll and a treasure uh, action button here, which allows you to bring up a, a dice roller uh, or a treasure uh, tool that will allow you to distribute treasure to your players. Now, the first thing that you really want to do as a game master is you're going to want to be able to create a character for you to use to be able to make posts and, and chat with. So the easiest thing to do is click this little link down here. You can also do it by coming up to the character menu, but it's much easier just to click this. This will open up a brand new character detail. We'll let you put something in and for typical game masters, that's all you got to put in. If you choose that you want to be called DM or your name or whatever you want to be called, you can choose that. From that point, you can pick a, an image if you so wish. I'll reuse the same image that I like to use for this. And I'll pick my, my hooded man. And then I don't need to pick a character sheet because I will not be using any sort of character uh, data with him. And I'll simply hit save. And you'll notice that as soon as that is done, it now brings up this chat box. And the chat box allows me to chat among all the people on the server. Testing chat. There you go. So with that, now you have uh, enabled the chat system. By default, there's an in-game and an out-of-game channel. You can create as many channels as you wish, as you wish, and you can simply do that by coming in here, and you can pick uh, a name for the channel, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it Lord Elfric's Test Channel. And then we can give it a short name so that you can see it down on the bottom left and we'll say LATC. I can also make it private and if I wish to do so, doing that will give me a list of all the users here and I can actually make it private so that other people don't have to uh, see it. I'm going to make it public and I'll simply hit create and you'll see that it automatically switches my channel and now you can see Lord Elfric's test channel in game and out of game. That with that, now the next thing that you're really going to want to do as a game master is probably some sort of map or some sort of landing page. It's very useful to be able to do that. And with that, we will go to our next tutorial about creating maps. Thanks for stopping by and keep questing.